So we've gotten to the wood element, and we're so now let's describe the the sphere, the the uh, the plasmoid of that. So see again, we're seeing the chakras not in isolation, not just in a sequential spatial location that we see them in the body, but now looking at them as a de as an, a development of a plasmoid, a multi layered pl uh, concentric plasmoid, which is the kind of form that plasma takes when it's energized. It forms multiple layers, each layer having its own, uh, its own bilayer uh, of, of, uh, of charge separation. It's a cellular structure. It actually has a membrane that's an electronic electromagnetic membrane. And, and I propose in the clinical theory of everything that it's the minerals of consciousness that are, are undetectable in, nor in, in most normal uh, types of measurement that are actually making up that membrane. It's why we see the charge separation. We don't see the membrane itself because it's a spiritual material rather than a normal state of, of, of minerals. Uh, so it's, it's, it's ghostly, but it's super fluid and super conducting, which is how it can also, and it also doesn't, it's dark matter. It doesn't easily interact with the electromagnetic spectrum. That's why we can't measure it so easily, and it's why it can have this, also this insulating property to create charge, to maintain charge separation. So, uh, and it has a diamagnetic effect of keeping other energies out of that cell. That it has its own self-perpetuating uh, energetic, and because it's superconducting, it doesn't, its energy is sustained. It doesn't run down with time. Okay, so the, the wood element is now going to be a plasmoid involved with the, the sixth chakra, chakra of, of the eyes and vision, the brow chakra, at, as the, the top vortex. So we're taking in energy. We know that the, the, the greatest energy input to the brain is through the two optic nerves. Two-thirds of all the nerve current, which is a technical term for the electrical energy flow of the nerves coming into the brain, is from the two optic nerves, two thirds. So that's one optic nerve, nerve current is equivalent to all of the other senses other than vision in terms of the amount of electrical energy that they supply to the brain. So it's a huge vortex energetically. And uh, so that's where the energy is coming in. It's a photovoltaic cell. This is actually the, in, our, in our model, the photovoltaic cell that charges, it charges the retina as the, the strongest uh, on, a level, on a tissue level, it's the strongest electrical dipole. The, the visual system, the human visual system, is the photovoltaic energy source that actually runs the, the fundamental powering system for the meridians, which is a direct current-based energy flow in the connective tissue, the extracellular fluid. It's actually another parallel pathway of detoxification for the, for the tissues of the body. Uh, so the light comes in the eyes, two-thirds of all the nerve current going to the brain comes from the two optic nerves, and the retina on a tissue level is the strongest electrical dipole in the body. We know that the cell membrane on, in every cell is an incredible electrical dipole. It's, it's super powerful on its scale of size. And on the scale of tissues of, of a particular organ, the eye has the strongest electrical dipole. It's called the retina, and that's a photovoltaic cell. It's energized by light. When we open our eyes in the morning, the light comes in, charges the retina, the nerve current goes to the brain, turns, lights up the brain. The temperature in the brain, in your brain, goes up several degrees when you open your eyes in the morning. And it takes several minutes for the circulatory system to respond by increasing circulation to pull out that excess heat and, and share the wealth with the rest of the body and, and bring things back into a, a normal temperature regulation. So this is homeostasis, it's called, I like to call it homeodynamic because it's super dynamic, it's, it's always changing. And, and we see that dynamism, again, when you open your eyes and turn on the photovoltaic system for the day. Uh, on, a, on a whole body level, uh, there's a Dr. Spittler, who is also a naturopathic optometrist like myself, a, a holistic doctor, who 
studied, he, he looked at the different organs and found that the biggest direct current electrical voltage difference in the whole body was between the brain and the liver. Well, that makes sense. We're still talking about the wood element. This is that liver brain battery that Spittler found and uh, where it comes from is the photovoltaic charger of the eye and vision and the retina. Right. So the liver, the, wood ele the, the, the central uh, yin organ of the wood element is in the abdominal cavity, as were the organs of the earth water, and water elements of wood now. And where are the Birkeland current outlets that we call meridians or, or electronic vessels of electroacupuncture? They're in the, in the legs, in the feet, and the appendages attached to the abdomen. Totally makes sense as an antenna for both sending and receiving energetic communication, you know, expressed also through our muscles and movement and expressed in many, many ways. Multiple parallel pathways, including thought. When you think a thought through the, the wood element, we're talking about now visualization, not just say an affirmation of speaking words uh, the, that, uh, that spoken language would be an expression of the, the water element, choosing to voice and express outwardly the, the sound pattern of, a, of a, an earth element based structure of, of meaning and words, uh, a linguistic structure, is now a structure that's put out into the world in terms of, of uh, longitudinal wave forms. Sound is a longitudinal wave. But when we go to the, the wood element, now we can visualize, and that's light is a transverse wave. So these are complementary forms. These are different ways in which we think. So the input to this wood element sphere of, of light energy processing uh, is, is, is vision. Uh, our navigational system, the, you know, we, can, we can see where things are in space so much. We see a lot of, we can hear a few things, but we can see everything, pretty much. Uh, that we need to navigate around. And we can see much further than we can hear. We can hear in our immediate environment, maybe even you know, if there's a sound that can travel for hundreds of miles sometimes, but, or even thousands of miles in an extreme case, but we can see to the stars. We can see to the heavens. So uh, it's, our, it's our navigational sense in this life on, on Earth, where we're gestating as, as uh, navigational beings of the heavens, when we transcend this body in this life, we have hopefully developed that visual ability, that's, that navigational ability to navigate the stars and the heavens. And so the, the top of this, of this plasmoid of vision is the eyes and the chakra at the brow, and at the bottom we have the second chakra, which is our social navigation. Which, so, so the energy coming out the bottom vortex has to do with how we interact, with, how we transcend just interacting me and my environment, self, not self, we now transcend to self and other. We have relationship, we have family, community, tribe, nation, the world, uh, beyond our, our sense of self as species where we uh, see all life as precious, where we see creation in its, in its divinity, that we, that it's not God out there, it's not just God in here, it's both, it's we are in God. We are a cellular, fractal, sentient structure of God. These are God's hands, this is God's heart, these are God's eyes, and when we, when we give up the perspective of ego, which comes from the water element, and move to the liver element, we have wisdom, where now we can see the whole, not not, not uh, limited by our personal perspective in space and time, but we can see from another's point of view. We can have compassion. We can, have, we can develop uh, true leadership in, in the social sphere. And that's the expression of that, that uh, sphere of, the, of the, uh, the wood element of vision. And then we complete the cycle back to the metal element in the transcendent sense and now we, where we started at the first chakra with the senses coming in uh, we have the the seventh the crown chakra uh, connecting to the divine the non-local you know, beyond this life to all life all time 